Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another vlog. Um, I have not woke up. I cannot wake up. I woke up with a little headache because I, I think I slept on my neck wrong. Story of my life, you guys. Um, but we are up, we are out this morning. Um, we have not even started on school. I told the kiddos we're gonna do school this afternoon instead of this morning because- Okay, yeah, it was all 20s. It's all there, okay. Aiden thought he lost money. He thought he had a $100 bill. And he goes, mom, it's gone. I'm like, are you sure? And he looked again, and I was like, yeah. He's like, yeah, it's gone. I called Barry, and Barry's like, no, they were all 20s. I was like, oh, well, honey, you don't have any. You don't have 100, it's all 20s. I have 125. Awesome, look at you go. So, right now, we have left the house because we are coming to get our nails done. And there's Bradley. I just dropped her off. I guess Kayla's texting her. Let me ask. Um, she asked, was there enough formula in the can for today? Hey, can you look at her diaper bag and get the can of formula out? Yeah. Um, Briley is going to do, I think, just black nails for Halloween. I'm going to do something a little different. Mine are going to be a little more funky looking. But stay tuned. Each nail is going to be a different color. If you want to guess which colors I get, that would be fun. I'm either getting four or five colors. I don't know if every nail is going to be a different color or two will be the same, three will be different. I don't know, but we're gonna pick at least three to five colors to go on my nails. Um, but yeah, that's the plan right now. That's what we're doing. I'm gonna see here. I'm gonna work on editing the vlog, and yeah, that's what's going on. Sorry, I seem so because mm, I just really am at the moment. I'm like, my head's hurt really bad. I'm just ready to go home to be honest. So Aiden's freaking out, thinking he's gonna lose a toenail. You may not lose it, buddy. I need to go home and look at it, okay? He hurt his toe um, skating, and now his toenail's like really thick looking or something. I don't know, it's kind of odd. Doesn't it look odd? So, I don't know. Anyway, we're done with nails. I think Aspen is over the trip. Show him what you got done. Black nails. And this is what I got done. So, I got like a green, purple, pink, and black. I like them. They look really good though. He had to take all my nails off and like start over. I got one that still got some old acrylic on it. Is that one? But they look good because they look really thin because it's nails natural. Are my real nails. Yeah. But he told me he had to take three years off. Yeah, he did. And mm -hmm. this is just my real nail. That's awesome. nail on it. Yeah, just acrylic. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to now go home because Aspen, I think, is ready for some lunch and probably a nap. So my camera looks really odd i don't know if it's just it was the light okay it was the light i was like what is that you see that it's like the specs or whatever mm -hmm. anyway let's go home hayden's making lunch what are we having uh sun butter and bread sun butter and bread that is what he wanted looks good you didn't want your bread toasted though right just plain all right we are home and kayla's here way before well not way before but before she's supposed to be to get off work she was at work today. You want to tell them what happened? I was just in a mental day. So I was at work and I was I just sit at a desk. I don't do anything like strenuous or anything. Mm -hmm. I'm upstairs. I'm sitting down and like I just felt like super hot. And so like I got up and turned the air on upstairs because I'm like I'm about to roast. And I just felt shaky and like, I don't know, I just felt weird. Well, someone had brought in like, someone had just dropped off donuts for the office. Mm -hmm. So I was like, maybe my blood sugar is like a little, whatever. Because I've had instances before where I feel shaky and I eat something sweet and then it fixes. Which my blood pressure and everything's looked good this whole pregnancy. I ate like half a donut and I just still felt just shaky and like dizzy and out of breath and like, even right now, just talking, I'm, like, getting out of breath so easily. And, like, I just feel weird. Mm -hmm. And so, I went downstairs and asked one of the guys, because I know, like, he's, like, our safety person. And so, I was like, what is Charlotte doing? <laughs> she's like, she's no. laying down. No, no she's not. <laughs> she's so busy. And so, I, like, went downstairs to him and I was like, hey, I was like, do we have a blood pressure cuff here by chance? And he's like... No, he's like, I have one in my old, my medical bag in my old car, but it's in the shop. And I was like, okay. I was like, well, 
I just feel weird. I'm like, I need to get my blood pressure checked. And they were like, okay, well, he's like, let's ride over. I'll drive you over to CVS. So we went over there. They didn't have a blood pressure cuff at that CVS. That is crazy. I thought they did. And apparently they said, um, Harris Teeter had one, but I was like, I'm not trying to go further down the road and everything. I was like, we'll just, uh, whatever. Well, he ended up making a phone call and I didn't know who he was on the phone with, but he's like, well, even better. He's like, we're going to get the fire department to check you out. And I was like, we're going to the fire department? He said, no, but they're bringing the fire truck here. And I was like, ah. did they bring the big one or the small one? No, like the big honking fire truck. <laughs> was it a Wait a minute, truck? the big ladder truck? I mean, it was like the normal size fire oh, truck. Oh, it was a ladder truck. I mean, it was a fire truck though. Well, yeah, like, like, like the SUV. No, it was the fire truck. Oh my, did it have lights on? No, because okay. they were going to the plate. They were going across the street from our work okay. to get food, I guess, to okay. get something. So they were already going in that area and they were like, well, we'll just meet us there and we'll check her out. Because he explained like almost 21 weeks pregnant or it might be 21 weeks. I don't remember. Whatever. <laughs> and um, so long story short, I was sitting there and they did the little oximeter. It's oximeter, right? Mm -hmm. They did that and they did my blood pressure cuff. And um, there's like three firemen around me. I'm like, this is, <laughs> this is not what I was planning to do today. But I just felt really weak. Yeah, for so sure. He checked my blood pressure. It was like 128 over... 80 something i don't remember it was higher than it usually is so my blood pressure is usually around 116 mm -hmm. 117 over like 70 something so it's not like high that's higher for me right then he kept like the guy kept like looking at my pulse thing he kept like turning around and talking i was like i was like does my pulse look bad yeah <laughs> and i was like am i not getting enough oxygen like what's, yeah, going, what's on? going on and he's like well your oxygen is hovering or your um, pulse is hovering around 120s which is hot. Mm -hmm. And so he's like, they suggested getting the EMS out there. So then they wanted to bring the ambulance. Oh and I'm gosh. just like, Kayla. So I got four men staring at me like, we, you, you want to see if the ambulance out here? I'm like, what are they going to do different than what y'all just did? Mm -hmm. And he's like, well, they have a machine that can test your heart rate right. on the ambulance. He's like, but you don't have to leave. But all I'm thinking about is that going to be an ambulance bill? Oh, Kayla, no, it wouldn't have been. Oh, so I didn't want to ask, so I don't want to sound poor. <laughs> but I don't think they would. I think the only time they charge it, they actually transport you. Oh. I think. So I. Because I've asked that question before. Remember that time we went and I had to go to the we went fire to, truck? Yeah. I mean, the ambulance. Yeah, and, that's close. Yeah, and they said that it um, it wouldn't cost unless they put me in the thing and had to take me. Because that's what the guy said. He's like, you don't, he's like, they're not, they don't have to take you off your Yeah, own. yeah. And I was like, well, you can refuse or whatever. I said, we need to get the EMS out here. I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm about am to I die. good? Am I going to labor? What's going on? And they're like, well, we can get them out here if you want them to. And they were like, are you sure you don't want them out here? Like, I guess they really wanted me to get checked out further. But I was like, no, it's okay. Yeah. I'm like, it's so extra. Like, <laughs> here I am having the ambulance, the fire truck. Who's next? <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm like, Lord Jesus. I was like, no, nah, I'm just going to go back to the office. I'm going to call my OB. They were like, well, definitely call your OB, give them the numbers, and see if you need to come in either today. But I have an appointment in the morning. Mm -hmm. So they're like, see if you need to go to L&D, if you need to go to urgent care, get checked out further, if you need to go into his office or just go home and rest or just stay at work. He's like, they were like, we don't obviously know what he's going to tell you, but you need to keep him informed on what's going on. And I was like, okay. So I called my OB, left them a message. They've not gotten back yet. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I left work because... After I got back to the office, like I've been having, if you're a woman, like I never got period cramps really, mm -hmm. but I would like the very first like day, kind of just achy your belly. Mm -hmm. My belly is, is feeling like that and it's consistent, consistently cramping like that. Mm -hmm. And like, if you Google, they're like, go to the hospital because that's a sign of preterm labor. And then also having shortness of breath and high pulse. All of it goes to preterm labor with multiples. So I'm sitting here Are like... Are you still waiting on your daughter to call back? Yeah, I haven't called back yet. Okay. So I'm sitting here like, do I call back my doctor's office and just speak to the emergency nurse? Because they'll definitely answer. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it sent you directly to the hospital line. That's why they answer. Because the nurse actually there. I don't know how that works. But I've yeah. called them before. Okay. So I'm like, when I had that issue, the issue. Right. Yeah. So I'm like, do I call them? Or do I go to the L&D? 
do I call LMD? But if I call an LMD and tell them I'm pregnant, they're going to say, you need to come in immediately. Yeah. I'm like, do I need to just lay down, drink a lot of water and see if that helps? I don't know guys what to do. I definitely say rest today. It's just if my it doesn't stomach get better, like, you need to go in. It's like, you know, like you're about to start your period. You're yes. like crampy. And also like my chest has been feeling like heavy, like pains. Mm -hmm. Like, am I dying? No, I'm you're not. Doctor. You're not. I do think you need to rest more. Oh, you don't definitely. rest enough. Oh, no. You don't. And I'm just like, but like right now, like it's like in my sides and like my stomach. Mm -hmm. Just crampy. And like I'm just stressed out. Like what if it is preterm labor? Well, you're going to the doctor tomorrow. So definitely tell him what happened well, and see what he I says. Am. And if I get worse off tonight then I'm probably going to go to L&D mm -hmm. just to get checked out. Because I'd rather, like, because there's a lot of women with multiples. Like, I'm in a group chat. Well, not a group chat, but like a forum page type thing. And there's a lot of people that around 20 weeks, they start going into water leaking and mm -hmm. preterm labor. And, and twins, for sure. And it's just a lot of people say this is how it starts. They get cramped, like menstrual cramps. Yeah. And I mean, I've had contractions, but even though it wasn't that far ago, like I still can't remember what it feels like. Yeah, I know. But this doesn't feel like that. It just feels like I'm about to start my period, but mm -hmm. it's consistent. Mm -hmm. That's what's freak freaking me out. It's not like it's just a little bit here, a little bit there. It's just like, I feel like it's yeah, just like constant. And I feel like racks and hips. That's how your constant. contractions were. They were bad to bad to bad to bad. They did, you didn't get no break. That's what I'm saying. So it, am I in labor? Um, you're able to talk to me, so you're not. That's what I'm like, saying. It's not like full active long, labor, but, but it like, could be like Braxton Hicks. It could I, be the star. Am I contracting enough? I need to go to the hospital and get medicine to stop them. Because like I can do that. Only you're gonna be able to answer that question. It's like I feel not stupid, but I feel silly going to the hospital, and they're gonna be like, "Oh, you're." It's gonna probably but, nothing, but why does it matter? Good, it turns out to be something. Yeah, why? Why does that matter? Don't worry about how you look or feel. I know it's just part just of me. Just go like, and do it if you feel like that's what's best. You, part of me you is know like, your body. I go to the doctor at nine thirty in the morning. Yeah, it's only a little bit away. But then another part of me is like, you don't want I it to get worse. Like yeah. I like, and I know they're in my ribs right now because that's hurting right now up here. But this is like my like belly, and it's like. Am I not, is it not like hurt and hurting because my uterus isn't fully formed yet? You yeah. know, like I'm not to 40 weeks yet? Uh-huh. I mean, what if this is the start of preterm and they got to stop it with, like, I'd rather them stop it before it gets too late and they can't. Oh, for sure. I mean, we got to at least make it 24 weeks, guys. Well, what are you thinking? Are you thinking about going? Part of me is like, oh, God. It's like part of me says I need to just go get checked out because, like, I am really creepy. Mm -hmm. And then another part of me is like, maybe I just haven't drank enough. I know I now I'm tell you, am not a drinker. You're not. And with twins, you've got to be putting it down. And I barely drank a day. Then that's your problem, probably. So that's why I'm like, should I just wait, like, wait it out an hour? I would say, I'd, I'd probably go lay down and just chug water the entire, how many bottles have you had? One, whatever this is. The whole day? Mom, I don't drink a lot. You're going to have to force it in. You're know, going to have like, to. Ugh. If you don't, you have to go to the hospital and get IVs. What would you rather oh, do? Oh, I know if I go to the hospital right now, they're probably going to pump me Absolutely. IVs. You're probably dehydrated. And the fact that I'm getting IVs. And dehydration like, can cause all this. I know when I don't feel my best, I'm dehydrated. I need to drink water. It's just, uh, I don't know what to do, guys, but I'm hurting. I say you need to go lay down, chug a bunch of water, and see how you're feeling. And if you're not feeling any better, then you need to go in. Finished with school and it is five o'clock. Kayla took a nap. Caleb called. <laughs> I was like, have you seen my wife? She is still asleep.
So I'm calling it a night. I am so tired. And my head does feel better. Poor little Aiden ended up with a headache. So he's actually in bed right now. Resting. Took Tylenol. And he's good. Um, put on my favorite movie to go to sleep in. And that's going to be Goosebumps Part 2. I watch it like every night to fall asleep. And I don't know why. I just... I've been doing it now for almost, well, probably a month, maybe more than a month. But, um, yeah, getting ready to go wash my face. And you guys, I was so disappointed in something today. I didn't put on any mascara. I don't know if you guys even noticed. I mean, it's not like it's very noticeable, but I didn't put on any because I ordered a viral mascara that was going around. Briley found it. She goes, Mom, we need to get this, see if we like it. I do not like this brand. I know a ton of people do, so I know a lot of you are probably going to be like, how do you not like it? At least the one I tried, the one I originally, tr originally tried, it just didn't do anything. It didn't give me volume, and it just didn't do anything. Um, I'm going to share what it is because it's coming tomorrow. So, again, tomorrow I'm not going to wear mascara in hopes it comes because it was supposed to be here today. The package was supposed to be delivered today, so I was going to put it on for you guys, show you what it was. And see what you thought see what i thought because it's um the same brand just a different formula um and i got two of them one for me one for briley so i'm really hoping we like them because if not i didn't waste much money they're very very cheap but it's just i'm hoping it's a good mascara and i really wish it came today because i wanted to show you guys but i didn't get to and it's okay hopefully it comes early enough if it doesn't come until tomorrow night that's gonna be like such a fail but I'm not going to wear mascara again tomorrow in hopes it comes tomorrow so I can show you guys what it is. And you guys will have to let me know what you think. If you think it was a good one or not, I'll let you know my opinion on it. And I'll share what the brand is and all that. But anyway, I'm calling it a night. If you enjoyed today's vlog, please hit the thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in our next vlog. Bye.